So I have an interesting story today. Um, one of my students, he had a Kabbalistic experience within his meditation this last Shabbat that when he got to a certain point within the meditation, he asked Hashem, what's going to be in Israel? Like, what's the situation in Israel? And then there was, a, there was in exactly the same moment, there was an alarm in all over, all over Yerushalayim, all over the area. And, and he's asking, what is the answer? How is that answer his question? How Hashem answers his question? So before I'm going to, to speak about that, I want to start with explaining for those that don't know that I have a certain technique of meditation that I teach. That the student, he went through those teachings and he's practicing this meditation that I taught him regularly on a regular basis, and usually he's using the technique of meditation to ask questions. There is people that are using the same technique of meditation for healing or other kind of purposes to achieve a certain spiritual level, a certain mental level, to, to get to a certain relaxation, deep relaxation. It can be used in different ways. But him, he likes to use it for asking questions usually, which is fine. It's not that I, I have nothing against it. Obviously, there is a certain limit of what we have the permission to ask. Um, I'm not recommending people to ask the, like things about the future too much. It can be confusing. Okay. Anyhow, if somebody has personal questions about it, so I'm open for that. So let's go back to that point, this specific question. What would be a possible answer that Hashem made this alarm to come out exactly in that moment that he was asking the, his question? So for me, um, in the same day, it was in Shabbat night, by the way, this alarm. This last Shabbat. And Friday, I was telling someone, you know, where I am, it's very quiet. We almost even, even alarms, we almost never have. <laughs> and then in Shabbat night, the, the right in the beginning of Shabbat, there was the alarm. So, you know, something like that that happens, it meets every individual in, in a, a little bit of a different way, different scenario. But... I think that here the message is basically the same message that for people like us that we are not involved physically in the in a state of war many times it is easy to forget about what's going on and to be to be all immersed and embraced within our life our whatever it is that we're doing learning, praying, whatever it is, somebody that needs to get married, so about his marriage, somebody that is already, already made so to sustain his marriage, to have children, to, to help the children to grow straight, and so on and so forth. And, and there's so much challenges in our life that it's already overwhelming as it is, so it's very easy to let go and not to think too much about the situation that we are in a war, there is a war in Am Israel. And obviously that is missing the point in a way because we are in it together as a nation, all of, all of, all of Am Israel. It is not something that is just for some people in some area, in some town. It's something that is for all of Am Israel, even people that are living in the other side of the world in all kinds of countries all over the world. So they're experiencing the situation of the war with anti-Semitism that they, that they are going that is happening in those different places. So for me, I feel that the message is very clear that 
yes, we need to be focused in our meditation, in our learning, in our, in our prayer, in our mitzvot. All of that is true. But we should always remember what is the state of my, the, my fellow Jew, my brothers and sisters that are fighting and they are also fighting for me. They are also fighting for all the, all the Jewish nation and even more than that. It's not only for the Jewish nation. It's something that is much bigger than that. It's the whole world. <coughs> um, so in a way, I think that for me and also for many other people, that alarm this last Shabbat was a wake-up call that we have to remind ourselves we have to be focused, we have to be straight and to, to take things seriously. Like in a, in a war field, so the soldier cannot you know, dream and uh, forget that he's in a war field. You have to be focused, you have to be goal oriented, you have like a certain mission, right? So each one of us, we are within different kind of war, maybe not physical war, but we, we, we are within emotional war and spiritual war, and we have to be alert, we have to be focused, we have to be goal oriented. And when we are forgetting that focus, so we need, we need a wake up call that will bring us back to that point of we are all soldiers in different ways. We are all in the battlefield in different ways. We all have a mission, different missions, but we, ho we have to fight for achieving those purposes to do our part. So I think that's a very important message. And this is my answer for myself and for him and for each one of us, whoever heard or didn't hear this uh, alert. Bauch hat ein Heiler, Allah, Amen, Amen.